back here guys, we're back for another video, it's Tony here. Right, in this uh, episode, I think it's episode 2 now we're doing of easy installs and modifications, um, we're going to be fitting the Puig Pro sliders, it's uh, dead easy to do, we're putting it on my Kawasaki Ninja 2020, uh, it's going to be the same install for the 21 and previous models I think as well. So we're going to show you how to do everything in this video, roll the intro! <laughs> Okay guys, before we get started on this video, I uh, just want to let you know that we have got a discount code if you want to buy any of these parts. Um, this includes a site-wide 10% uh, discount for Pyramid Plastics. They sell all sorts of stuff, sliders, screens, I've got this screen from there. I've got the uh, fender extender on there as well. I've got some other bits that we're going to be putting on the video in the install. Uh, it's not just for Kawasaki, so it's for all kinds of uh, uh, models and uh, bike so check them out Tony 10 is the discount code this is not a paid uh, advertisement um, basically I've just got a discount code discount code that I'm going to be sharing with you right okay let's move on to the install the tools that we're going to need for this job uh, you're definitely going to need some allen keys preferably some long ones because uh, they're going to be some hard to reach places to get in um, you're also probably going to need a socket set and I've got a long bar there because these nuts there's two nuts here if you can see them uh, I've already done one side of this just to test it, but basically one of the nuts were really tight and I couldn't get it with a small uh, socket set. So uh, I think you're going to need, let's have a look what that is, you're going to need a 14mm uh, socket set for this and you're going to need a couple of different Allen keys. Right, okay, let's move on to this. I'm going to try and get the best shot I can, so just bear with me. Right, okay guys, uh, how this works is we need to take some of these fairings off to get into these bolts which are just behind this fairing uh, to put this slider on. So how it works is this bit comes off first, uh, that's all one part there, then this is the second part, that's going to come off second, and the third bit is the rest of the uh, front fairing. Right, okay, so we're working on the right side first, if you want to pull your wheel all the way to the left it'll give you a little bit more room. But we're going to need a 4mm Allen key for this. And we're just going to take this bolt out dead easy. And there's a rubber um, washer on there as well. Don't lose that because we're going to need that. I recommend you get a tub for this because we've got a few screws and stuff to take out of here and rivet. Keep them safe. Right, okay, there is a pop rivet here at front. You can't really see that properly, but if you can use your Allen key and just push it in at top, and then it should be able to get your nail under it and pull it out. There's the pop rivet, if you can see that. It's not in focus. It's got like a thing in the middle there at top that you can just pop in. Can you see that? Right, okay, the next step to removing this first bit of fairing is, after we've took them out, is we're going to pull, with not too much force, we're going to pull these, if you get your fingers behind it a little bit. There we go, that's the first bit. We've got some like, hooks that sit in rubber grommets there, and they just pull straight out. And then if you can see that on video, yes you can, if we just get my fingers behind it like that and just pull straight back, that's it, not too much force. And then this whole piece, once you've got them out, it should just slide forward. Like that, dead easy. Right, okay, the uh, next step for this is we're going to take this piece of plastic off and it's your 4mm Allen key again. And there's just two bolts, there's one there and one there, dead easy. Don't forget there's a washer on there, so don't lose the washer. Right, okay, so this part just literally pulls and slides out. If you just get your fingers behind there, there is a rubber grommet again, stick your finger in, pull it, and it should just pop off. There you go, and there's another one up here. There you go, that's that bit. Dead easy to uh, take off. Right, okay, so the next step, we're going to be taking this main fairing off now. 
So there's not many more bits to take off. So right here where my finger is, if you can see this, we are on the right hand side of the bike. We've got a hook that hooks over. That's dead easy, that's just gonna pull off. We've got another four millimeter Allen bolt there. Uh, we've got the indicator uh, connection terminal, I think, there. Um, we've got another bolt which is further down here. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there's another bolt there which needs taken out. That's a different Allen key to this one. It's a little bit bigger. I think that's a six, but I'll have a look in a minute. And then there's uh, a few more uh, which are under the fairing here, which I've already took off. And they're just basically pop rivets. And you can just grab them and pull them and they should pull out quite easy. Uh, I've already done that because I've already done the uh, slider on the other side. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is there's two pop rivets under the front of the bike. If you can see them, there should be one just there where my finger is. Another one's just in front of it here. You see that? So we need to take them out. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm just going to take off here is going to be this connection. Dead easy, just push it in and pull. That's it, that's disconnected. I don't believe there's any more there on this. We'll have a look. Uh, yeah, I forgot there's another two Allen key bolts there. We'll start there actually, we'll take these out. One. So the second Allen key bolt. These also the four millimeter. Right, okay, moving this way a little bit. So here we have another four millimeter Allen bolt. Let's just go that. Right, okay, I hope you can see this. We've got another 6mm Allen bolt under the uh, fairing there. 6mm. I believe there's only one of these. And there's two on the other side, if you're doing the left-hand side. Basically, the uninstall and the install on both sides is exactly the same. Right, okay, we're taking the main fairing of the bike off now. Um, basically we've undone all the bits, I believe we've got everything, um, this should just slide out now, so if you stick your hands just behind this bit here, uh, there's some more of them rubber grommets that should just pull out, we've also got a hook there, so just pull it off like that, not too much force. Right, okay, this front bit I believe should just slide backwards if we've got everything, yes we have, that's all the plastics off, now be careful when you're putting them down on the floor, make sure you've got something soft so you don't scratch them. Uh, right, okay, we're moving on to installing the sliders now. What we're going to do is we're going to take both of these bolts out. There's one there and there's also one there. Now you're going to need a 14mm socket set for this. I've got a long arm uh, because when I did the other side they were quite tricky to get out and tough. Now I've already cracked these, they're already loose, so I've just literally got to take them out. Right, okay, that's one bolt done and out. I'm going to take this next one out here, what's here? I've already loosened it, so... Right, okay, that's the second bolt out. Bear in mind these bolts are black. And uh, they're a different colour on the Puig Pro slider. Uh, right, okay, so this is the Puig slider. There is a left and a right version, so make sure you get the right one. It's pretty obvious when you look at them. So they do come already, everything put together. You've got to not got to put it together. Uh, they come with zip ties over the screws, so the rubber um, thing don't fall off. <laughs> and it also comes with a bolt in here, which we're going to take out because I'm going to remove this so that we can tighten these up properly. Right, okay, so you're going to need a... Uh, eight millimeter Allen key for this. So if you've got an eight millimeter Allen key, perfect. Dead easy. They're not even uh, tight. They're already loose. Just take this off. Right. Okay. You're gonna need to take these zip ties off. Just pull. Off. Right. Okay. I've just had to cut that zip tie off with the uh, scissors because it was a bit tight to get off with my hand. Right. So basically, we got the nuts out of there already. 
Uh, we're just going to put them in. You need to put them in both at the same time, ideally, just to make sure you've got the right angle. Start it off with your hand first. Make sure you've not lost the spaces as well. And then uh, eight millimeter Allen key. Now you're not going to get enough torque with this to be able to um, enough leverage on this to be able to torque it to the required specification. I don't have a torque wrench to be able to wrench this up. So what I recommend, um, if you haven't got a torque wrench, is just do it as tight as you possibly can with your hand. You know, within reason. And then uh, we're going to get an adjustable span at. We'll get a bit of leverage on it just to nip it up. Well, this will give you something to laugh about. I'm just going to use an adjustable wrench for leverage on here. I'm going to give it not too much. Yeah, that's enough for that. Just to get that little tweak. That's enough. So, we don't have a torque wrench on this, so it might appear just to check them in another week or two and make sure they're still tight. Right, okay, we're going to uh, fit the slider on. In fact, we're going to fit the plastics back on, then we're going to fit the slider end on after we put the plastics back on. Right, okay, so I didn't want to bore you by putting all the plastics on, but I've got everything back together, all the plastics are on. The only thing left to do is literally install uh, the rest of the slider, which is the Pure Pro slider. Uh, now, we're going to be using a, oh, which one's this one, 8mm Allen key. As you can see there as well, if you look in there, it's got a little notch at the bottom so that it doesn't spin when you stick it on. Just about to start raining, raining here. Much like it's dead easy, just fasten it straight on. It takes a little bit of screwing as well. If you can see that, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Now you don't want to go too tight on this. So uh, you do get torque settings in the manual instruction book, what you get with it. But like I said before, I don't have uh, a torque wrench, so I can't torque things up to specification. Uh, the only thing left to add is the cover. We've got a cover for this, a Pure Pro, if you can see that. Dead easy. That's it, everything's on, everything's done. That's the slider install complete. Right, okay guys, that's the end of our video uh, install for this uh, Puig Pro sliders, can't even say it. Uh, fairly easy to follow, as long as you've got a few bits, you need some Allen keys, you need some socket sets, as long as you've got them and you follow the instructions, it's dead easy. Uh, yeah, I, did, I haven't managed to get a, a torque wrench to torque them up. I might just nip back to a garage and get them, uh, get them tightened up dead easy, just to make sure they don't come loose. But other than that, it's, it's really easy. So if you're just wondering what they, what they actually do, what's the point of sliders, well basically if you're on your bike and you fall over by accident, it does happen, we all do it, uh, the sliders are going to hit the floor before your plastics on your bike do. You know, you don't want to break your engine cover at side, so you know, buy sliders for the sake of 100 quid or more, it's going to save you, you know, buying new plastics for your bike. So anyway, go to Pyramid Plastics uh, website, get your discount 10%. Oh, before we go today, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Yeah!